joining me today. Hey guys, welcome back to the Undercover Citizens Reviews. Uh, today we're doing Madden, the San Diego Chargers, and Alex is actually joining me today. Big Hello. time big time Chargers fan, so it should be good. Hey, yeah. All right. And the comment. We got a comment on the Chargers, so we're doing this for you. It's a little late, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? All right. So starting off, um, yeah, we don't have Jesus, I mean, uh, Charlie, Charlie Whitehurst. Whitehurst anymore. But we got Colin Clemens, which is interesting, right? Like, I don't know why you'd go after a potentially starting quarterback. Because you never know. Yeah, you never know, yeah. Look at Rivers, though, 92 Rivers. overall. 92 That's overall. That's pretty great. He was a top top six, seven quarterback um, behind people who make sense. So, you know. Under Ken Wisenhunt's offense, he did great. But let's go look at his ca- uh, passing stats. Catching stats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, was, I was going to that too. Yeah. But look at this right here. Throw power, you know, good 80, enough. That's what good. Are you do? Above 85. Especially for short and, short and medium accuracy. Like, okay, 93. There you go. He's not going to miss a pass short. Short passes are down. Which is yeah. great because they can. their running backs will get there later, can catch out of the backfield. Phillip Rivers will always hit those running backs. Oh, yeah. Uh, medium's always good. Um, they have a lot of good medium routes. Crossing routes, crossing routes. Especially field. with the tight ends, yeah. Deep. He used to be in Madden, I think, 11. He had, he had the best deep accuracy mm-hmm. of any quarterback. Yeah. It was great. But, but I'm happy with these stats, though. Because you get Keenan Allen, Antonio Gates over the middle. <laughs> well, Xbox go. go home. Sorry, guys. I think I should just unplug it. Just the connect? Yeah, probably. Don't, you said what it said. <laughs> it uh, stop back. listening. Stop listening. <laughs> stop. But like I was saying, you have Keenan Allen, Antonio Gates going across the middle. Great. Pretty good. Play action fake. Play action's pretty good. I was actually surprised by that. It must have been last year since yeah. Matthews did well. Dude, tackling know. 22. Hey, there you go. I don't know. Clemens is a beast. Cyphers. <laughs> Oh, well, he's a punter. He should tackle. Yeah. But yeah. On the run, none of them are impressive. But you know, so eh, Philip Rivers' job is to throw on the run. Hey, man, is he can scramble that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's probably that's all. Pretty much just the quarterbacks. How much does he hit for? Hit power. Oh, look at those blocks. Hit power is before it. All right, whatever. Let's move on. Running back. All right. Wow. So wow. Interestingly enough, there yeah, there's three eighty running backs who stacked. technically could start. Stacked at running back. I mean, Donald definitely could start. He look at all of them. They're all the same speed. Donald Brown ridiculous at pass blocking. Um, they're pretty strong. I mean, Matthews is strong. He's a good all around running back. Um, his lack, I mean, that's good. Everything's good. Acceleratory good, but his weakness definitely. Actually, let's look at everything. It's pretty interesting. Ninety three. Stephon is good. good. Spins 84. Jukes 89. Carrying. Of course. Carrying, 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 there carrying. it is. There is the weak point. Look at that. 96. Like, come on. Goal line stands right there. Not stands, but goal line pushes. Runs. Woodhead, always good because you can see his catching is quite good. Yeah, He's he'll, better than most receivers on this team. <laughs> he'll be your third down running back for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, otherwise, you know, Matthew's all right. But no, he's just running, he's catching a, traffic. He's a beast. Catching he's a receiver. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's a little man, but he's a little receiver. Um, Beat the press, can't really do that, but... but I mean, like, I mean, as you can see, like, just from base stats, Woodhead is rated higher, but... Ryan Matthews know. is your, I'll stick with your runner. Oh, yeah. He, just, can, he can bowl people over sometimes. He will fumble, which will suck. <laughs> but besides that, he's a good First play, back. I ever played Madden 15. Fumble Ryan Matthews. First play. <laughs> All right, fullbacks. I don't know what happened to... Um, Ron McLean. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. But, you know, what are you going to do? David Johnson, whatever. He's probably a good bumble. He has 81 He'll, strikes. Yeah, he does whatever he does. Why to see that? He has one job. <laughs> Keenan Allen. 87. I'm offense, still kind of surprised. Offensive by that. rookie of the year. He was the offensive rookie of the Easy. year. Easy. He's a great player. He went, he I, think he, I think he started at 72 last year. He was so low. He that's, was 83 quite, to end, man. And quite good. Speed. What else? Yeah, Floyd and Royal. Oh, what are you going to do? He's really a possession receiver. He's one of those guys that. I don't know, but I mean, just interesting to watch. Watch, watch. But look at his celebration. He got off the line. But look at all of his moves. Like, no, no. No. Okay, it's high 70s. Carrying, ooh. Catching, but that's where it is. There, he can catch. Spectacular catch. Route running, pretty good. Catching catch. traffic, oh pretty good. God. He is a great he... me- medium medium receiver. Which is good with Philip Rivers. Yeah. Medium medium distance, I mean. Beat um, the press. Michael Foy is good to beat the press. Jumping. Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm. Michael Foy's on the Cardinals. <laughs> and M. Floyd. Hey, 35 but, um, profile. I don't know. I'm glad to see Malcolm back. He's a nice, ginormous target. Eddie Royal's good in the slot. Um, yeah. Uh, you have weapons. I was like, Brown was a lot better. Last, all right, not in real life, just in Madden. He was great last year. But they brought his catching down a little bit. He was kind of like that hack you could throw in at corner. Or at corner. In at uh, the slot. He was great. Uh, Jiro Tutu is still here. <laughs> and You won't be getting to these guys a lot. I don't know this guy. 6'3". Oh, he's pretty fast for a tall guy. Anyways, yeah. I'm happy with Eddie Royal at slot. He's a speedster, so whatever. Moving on. Tight ends. Poor Gates, man. Like... Two two games ago he was ninety nine. Now he just kind of kind of whittled. But what are you gonna do when you're eighty two? Look at the Darius Green eighty eight speed. That's pretty fast. That is it's fast. It's not Vernon Davis fast. You'll but destroy t- like linebackers. That's pretty fast. 
Like only like Daryl Washington, Patrick Willis, and the Ron <laughs> can keep up with God, that. Patrick Willis. That's for another day. That is um, indeed for another day. I mean, there's a thing. So like Gates and Green are really just like, you know, receiving tight ends, but they're huge targets. It's great. I mean, if anyone's watching this review, you know the Chargers and you know who Gates is, so I don't really need to explain much. Um, besides, you know, he's become a little a little worse overall, but, you know, he still gets the job done. I wish he was better at route running, but what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. He probably is still really good at route running in real life. Jumping yeah. 90 is solid. Yeah, for a 34-year-old. Pretty good. Just before good crossing routes. You, you know, he's he's large, so he can block. Yeah, I mean, but, you're, you're going to want to do a lot of two tight end sets with Gates and the Darius screen, I oh, would yeah. say. Because then... Your opponent's like, who are they going to best you? Mm, he had to know who Green is. King Dunlap had a great year last year. He did have a 82 good year. overall left tackle. He's a, I think he's the tallest player in the NFL. Six foot nine. He is tall. I mean, a lot, there's a lot of Graham. Eights. Graham, six eight. I mean, Clay's Campbell, six eight. Clay is, oh, Clay is tall. Jared Valdir on the Cardinals, six eight. But. I still didn't think a six nine tackle would be, I thought, I feel like that you'd be too top heavy and just like flop, but. Yeah, 92 man. strength. He's we, good don't need to go, we don't need to go through the offensive line too yeah. much, but. He can block. Overall, he's good. <laughs> left guard. They used to have Vasquez. 81. But Ryan no, Hux, Vasquez played right. Oh. I mean, Their left side used to be beast. Well, um, Ryan, 81 and 80, and, and what, 82 or whatever he was, that's pretty good left side. Their the left, left side used to be 87 left tackle, 94 left guard. That's and then they both got hurt and both retired. They're like, screw this. Marcus O'Neill and... Probably smart. Oh, my God. The other guy. He was a Pro Bowl almost Deal? every year. No. Dealman. Dealman. So good. But, but then he had to get a concussion and quit. That was really sad. Anyways, anyway, you go to center, you're going to have Nick Hardwick. Um, yeah, Ryan Hardwick. Ryan Hardwick will get the job done. Whatever. Center, so you have three all, above three 80s. Three left, yeah. We have four. Because oh, no, okay. guess who... Not him. Oh, he's I mean, terrible. That's what we still Fluker... Or not Fluker, sorry. Clary's still here. He can go in at right guard. I actually don't know why he's not starting. I don't know if it has to do with the... Real life. Roster, but he must... I mean, rookie, he could get better. So you have one weakness on I'm the line. I'm hoping he get better. One weakness rookie, on the line. Rookie, rookie, rookie. Still a weakness on the line. <laughs> and there we go. Fluker's DJ up to 82. 82. He's a good solid. Well, I'll, solid take a, I'll take an O-line with 480 plus. Yes. I just wish your right, right guard was a little bit higher, but... You to to too that. higher, yeah. Literally, if he was like 75. But you know what? You're gonna, you <laughs> what can't you be perfect. Left end. Kendall Rice, a good player. Reyes, he went down from last year, but you know he's still the faster of the between him and the Le- Le- Legit. He'll, he plays strength. the left, so he'll play the opposite pass rusher. Chargers play a 3-4 defensive end, so their end's goal isn't really to put pressure on the quarterback. Yeah. Certain teams, like the Arizona Cardinals, Houston Texans, get pressure with their defensive ends. Chargers are not one of those teams. They'll get pressure from the outside linebackers, which will get there, are good. But his job is mainly to take up blocks, be great in their run game, and you know he'll get some sacks. He's 91 strength. He can bull rush people and then get to the quarterback. So and he, he will do. Yeah, he'll do what he needs to do in a 3-4 defensive end. Yeah. Well, let's yeah compare him to Legit. Same thing though. They're similar type of players. It's just like their Super goal is strong. just. He's not as fast. To be annoying. 88. Oh, wow. I didn't know. <laughs> you know, their goal is just like stop screens, yeah. bust up the run game. I mean, hey, they're 300 yeah. pound men. Create so create holes policy. for Six, four, their huh? defensive linemen. And then the defensive tackles, just your, you need them to stuff runs. I have no idea. Who well, he's only 303, are. though. We had a 330 guy last year. Yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. I'm a terrible fan. <laughs> Alex is a fan of the Chargers. As you can see, in top rates, favorite team. Oh, my God. Uh, he was all right when I played. You know, he has 86 strength. His job is just to stuff the run. You know, you yeah. wish you had someone better, but you can't have perfect players on defense. <laughs> Jared Johnson. Johnson. He's, that, he's that guy that is, is good. I don't know. He just is. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. But what I usually do is, because they'll skip, I put in a uh, Freeney, which I might do later, um, put Ingram in at left who is rated the same, so, you know. Because well, I like seven, having a speedster. He's not fast, but he's just, I don't know, he's just good. Jared Johnson will be a very good person to stuff the run on that side. Yeah. And he's also very good at um, power rushing, which you hit X moves on, and he can get into the backfield. So, you know, he isn't a bad player opposite Freeney, who's going to be a more, you know, finesse pass rusher. If you go over to their stats, which you can do, we can look at their tackling, you can look at their power rushing, you can look at their um, hit power. It's a little bit after, it's right here. Tackling 84. Look at that. Power moves 84. 86. Hit power 86. So oh, he will, power, Yeah, and then finesse is 60. So you don't really want to do Watch that. Shutting. If you go back to um, finesse moves real quick. Recognition's good. Yeah. Go back to where? Finesse moves. Because you can see down, if you look down to Mark Ingram. Freeney. He's. Oh, Ingram too. Damn. Fringry, yeah. So you can put Ingram. They're both finesse. Yeah, they'll both be finesse. So if you want to have the power finesse combo, which I talked about in the Packers video, because you had Clay Matthews and Julius Peppers, which is a damn good combo. It's very fun. Jared Johnson, a great player. Like Alex said, you put Ingram in, depending on what you want to do. Ingram's just faster. But he's he could run stuff or he could power rush, you know. It just gives you options because you use other guy, which is great. Yeah. Yep. Middle linebacker. Now they have middle Donald Butler. Uh, Donald Butler is a very good middle linebacker. He's been solid every year. Mm-hmm. And Monte Teo, 
<laughs> Hopefully has a good second year. He oh here, I'll show you why I love him. He's a run stuffer. No, he's a intercepting monster. He's yeah, catching. in college he had crazy oh amounts of He's the only linebacker with good intercepting. Like, come on. And probably Patrick Willis because he's a great, great guy. I meant I meant on the Chargers. Oh. So you know, I will always start with these two. I, mean, I know Reggie Walker was decent last year. Um, he didn't start, but whenever he came in, it was like, all right. And then there's that one guy, Gacker and... Um, I mean, go to their zone coverage, because you can you know, their man coverage. You can see what, you know, you're going to want to do with them. Like, um, obviously, their tackling should be high. Oh, this is throw. See, so there's tackling. You just passed it. But we'll look at this first, I guess. Uh, They're both better in zone. Which middle linebacker should be? Donald Butler, what? Donald Butler's going to be your starting linebacker. Well, yeah. What are you talking about? I'm talking about they should be good zone. Yeah, but you put them in man, they can cover tight ends, which can be worrisome. Play recognition, pursuit, 93 for Well, that's Donald why the Butler left is very solid. That's why I like Ingram at left. Yeah. But um, what were we looking at? Tackling? tackling, 91. Oh, there you go. Donald Butler has good stats. He has 91. He has 93 Boxing. pursuit. He's a good blitzer. Oh, my God. Yeah, Donald Butler is... He, he's, I think he's underrated in his stats, but... And Monster Tail would just get you by. Now, right outside linebacker is going to be a beast for the Chargers. Yep. Even though he got hurt last year. Corners, finally. Not going right outside linebacker? Wait, I did. We, oh, we really I looked did. at it. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, pretty much, yeah. Freeney. Obviously, you want Freeney starting. The reason why he isn't starting right now is because he's, he's hurt. Again. I think he's coming off injury, but. <sighs> let's just flip him. I still can't believe how fast he is for how big he is. And obviously, we looked at their stuff earlier. They're both finesse pass rushers, so you would be hitting the A button. But Dwight Freeney is just ridiculous. Old, he'll, he'll get to the quarterback. Ridiculous. He'll get to the quarterback. There's a lot of oldies on the Chargers this year. No, Alex is oh, going so, into. Of course. Grand, Grandpa's keep, got cut from uh, the Chiefs. The longest we've kept corners has been, I don't know, Sharice Wright. Past three years, all right. So that's pretty long. Brandon right? Flowers is Come on. short at 5'9". Oh, yeah. But he will get the job done. Hopefully. Yeah. Then you got the rookie, Barrett. Yeah. Who's 5'10". I solid. would I would almost start him. He's a great slot uh, corner, though, because he's so fast. But I don't know. I'll see how, you how might, the seasons you go. You might need him on the outside. Having on number two would be really nice. Okay. So if you go if you go look at their coverage, obviously they're all gonna be fast. They're gonna have good acceleration. You, know, you can look at their catching once oh, you yeah. once you get there, but they're they're gonna be like quick. You well, know. As long as, see that's why Sharice Wright. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. How I feel about him because um, you know Marcus Gokris used to be a uh, catching the um. Bear yeah, has the like, like, intercept. I mean they're not all like super catching high. Trap. Yeah, he's definitely. <laughs> yeah. Not as high as Ben Tate though. And yet so many interceptions. But if you go, let's go to like their man versus zone, which you really want to play in. Um, yeah, I don't know why Verrett's not. You know, I'm just gonna put Verrett in. He's better at everything. <laughs> he's faster. On. He's better. So if you look, if you look at the corners right now, you you can pretty much be playing zone or man with all the corners because they're they're both solid at both of them, which is a very good thing to have because you can choose what do you want to play zone or man. Linebackers can play Cromartie. zone <laughs> related to DRC and Antonio Cromartie, but your linebackers can play zone coverage. Have you so seen DRC in this game? He's really good. He's 87. Yeah, because he's on the Giants. But then, yeah. so what I was saying is you can... roll again. Yeah. Sorry. I you, dig, can, I digress. <laughs> you can literally play cover two, cover three all day because all your linebackers and corners can play. Then you can also blitz your linebackers, Montetail getting coverage. Chargers have a solid defense. We haven't even got to the best solid defensive player. Defense. We haven't even got to the best defensive player yet, but they have a well, very, very good player. If you're a Chargers fan, everyone knows who this is. Okay, Eric Weddle, 94. I'm going to give a little insight on Eric Weddle. Sorry, Alex. In the last <laughs> man. I'm looking at his stats. His stats don't wow yeah, last you. Last man, he was 96. Yeah. They don't wow you. They never wowed me. I, we do fan shots. I never picked them. Speed 84. That's expected. Yeah. Strength 66. And then you play against him, and he is all over the field. Like, he literally just destroyed me. Look at that acceleration. 90. Wait, oh, wait, wait, it's 93. Like, this is why he's a free safety. He <laughs> is everywhere in the field. Like, he feels like a strong safety or a linebacker in the box sometimes. He'll destroy you with his sticks. I don't even know what his hit power is. We're getting there. But it's just, he's all over the field. Tackling is good. You know, hit power 77, so it's good it enough. Seems higher. He'll hit stick you. Don't take him on, especially if you're Giannata Bernard, Morgan. 94 pursuit. Like, you won't get around the corner on him. If he's up in the box, you're done. Like, he'll tackle you. And look, and look at <laughs> 90, his, yeah. nah, it. Yeah. He's a very good, very good free safety. And zone 83 for a free safety. You, he usually will be in zone. So, like I said, just like the Chargers defense is, is very good. Uh, strong safety, not it's the best, not the worst. 77 I, would, I still always like starting Stucky, but I don't know. He's, I don't, he's all we have. <laughs> what is I like it? a speed. 80, 80, 80 speed, 52 strength, 91 acceleration. That's pretty good. Um, he's ability. probably going to be... Who is this? I don't know. I did it. Tackling 67, that's worrisome. See, I don't... Mm, I never have a problem with the D 
deep middles if Weddle's back and I have Grill Crystal. Yeah. But it's really nice to bring Weddle up in the box. Because as see. you can see, his pursuit is ridiculous. He's, he can do great blitzes, mm-hmm. except I don't control him because I always get stuck with it. But I had him blitz as a computer and it was great. Uh, I mean, it's whatever. His, his, his man coverage his in zone is fine, fine. Yeah. which is good. You know, 84 zone, you can put him in zone, bring Edward on the box. For high 70s safety, I don't know. What else He'll get the job done. Kicker. I, th- I still think Novak had a better year than this is showing. Like, he had a great year. But, uh, it's fine. Yeah, 83. <laughs> that's good. Matt Cypher um, should be... Cypher is always solid. Yeah. You know, that's a kicker and punter is going to get the job done. Charges have good special teams. Kick return. This is where you want to change I it up. Don't Eddie, know why Brown is. Eddie Royal is who you see, want to do. Yeah, when I put Royal in... Um, and I have them both back, and I, you know, sometimes you do return two. Yeah. Because at least Brown will block. And yeah. He can block the better than Woodhead. You know. So yeah, you yeah. know, Eddie Royal's <laughs> great return nine four. I just love how he's the starter. It's like, it, it, sure, in like real life he is, and then in Madden's like, no, he's gonna be forty four overall here. But yeah. Eddie Royal should. Do Tom Turner, of course, it's gonna be Eddie Royal. <laughs> nine nine overall, he's yeah. great. You don't need to even worry about that. He's gonna get the job done. I want to put Verrett in, but I don't know. Maybe Royal's just more. Yeah. Actually, no. I'm I'm curious. Who's more agility? Ninety three. Barrett has to have more. Come on. 94. Yeah. 97. Ex- oh, this is the fastest player on the Chargers since Cromartie. He's so fast. That's oh pretty God. good for him. Cromartie's so much bigger. Whatever. Um, this is actually the first Madden. I think they switched it last Madden. But um, Cypress has a bigger leg than Kading or Novak had. So I'd always put him at kickoff starter because he could just launch it. Mm-hmm. And then they flipped it to where only kickers were good at kicking. Like, yeah. even kickoff. So... We gotta go to Novak. Novak can either. start. <laughs> I know his kick power is not good, but his accuracy has been going up because of how he did last year. Long sniper, this guy, Wind, he's been on the team forever, so. Okay, five years, but he's always been here. It's his always job. long snapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, part of even the. Even though, I guess. You can, you I don't can, know you can literally just put Hardwick there and. Like, they're never gonna mess up, right? Oh, I mean, they're never gonna mess up until they do. Am I jinxing it? I don't know. It's fine. Done that. It's the, it's a 6 9 center. Come on. Yeah. Even 6 4, that's pretty tall. Um. They're never going back Danny with it. Of course. Easy. But look at Matthews, 99, Donald Brown. 99, Brown has very good pass blocking skills. But. Ah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. But Woodhead. Catching. (laughs) Easy. Even, I'm always surprised when I see him run. See, I hated him on the Patriots. I despised him. And then he came to the Chargers. I'm like, oh. He's pretty good. Danny Wood, I love you. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So overall Chargers. Solid units on offense. Secondary is great. They only have two nineties, which is sad, but you know. If you have a bunch of high eighties, though, they're gonna they're gonna be able to play against any other team because they can line up. You know, the secondary yeah. is solid. You have good corners. You have good safeties. Solid. Eric Weddle. Yeah. You have solid linebackers. You have great pass runs right Freeney and the D line to do its job. So like they can hold up against the, the, great. the the big offenses and, and offensively, you know, with Rivers and Keenan Allen, Ryan Matthews and Gates, they should be able to score. As long as you get a good pattern going, if you only pass, no. Run the ball. <laughs> well, Ryan Mathis is good. Run the ball. Well, all right, guys. That's the review on the San Diego Chargers. If, Like I've said in the previous videos, if, if you have any other teams you want us to do, let us know in the comments below. This was a commented video. Our next one's going to be a commented video. So we're looking out for you guys. We're also going to start a, a connected career mode where Alex play quarterback. I'm going to play defensive end. So let us know what teams we should go on, and we'll try to accommodate those. And, um, yeah, let us know if you're look, looking forward to that. And until next time, uh, see you guys.